Hey YouTube, this is my video review of the Hungry Joe's Southern Fried Chicken Stacker. I saw this out shopping last weekend when I was in Asda. Um, I picked it up out the freezer aisle um, for £1.99 and as far as I'm aware it's a new item from, from Hungry Joe's even though it doesn't say it's a new item on the box. I've not seen them before, not seen them reviewed or anything like that before. Um, yes, I'm quite looking forward to it because um, yesterday um, I watched uh, Food Review GB's review of uh, the Double Stack uh, Beef Burger um, from Hungry Joe's and that's also another new item and he said it was absolutely outstanding. Um, I did see that in there but um, I thought I'd go for, for this one. This is something you know a little bit different. Um, you've got hash brown in there and you've got three sort of chicken fillets, cheese and mayonnaise. So it's it's all, it's all quite a lot going going on there, um, yeah, especially after seeing his review yesterday. I'm even more looking forward to it and hoping that's going to be on par with you know, with, with, with this product. Uh, this is 221 grams, as you can see there, so fairly big. You know, normally a rustler burger is sort of 150, 160 grams. Um, as you can see there, satisfying, super satisfying snacks for one. Uh, you've got all the uh, nutritional value, as you can focus in there, it's pretty bad for you this one, I must say, especially the salt. Yeah, you're going to be thirsty after this. Uh, but this is the box, your normal sort of Hungry Joe's thing going on there. Um, you have the nutrition, more nutritional value, you've got the, um, the story that they were <laughs> about, hung about Joe, about he hates being hungry. If you want to read that. Um, Pause it and have a read about there. Uh, this is three cooked formed southern fried chicken breast goujons, a fried formed shredded potato hash brown, and a slice of processed cheese served in a sesame bun with a slice of mayo. Um, Food Review GB yesterday was, was saying about the um, cooking instructions, they were quite there's quite a long lot, lot to do there. Um, a lot of you know, um, taking out the microwave, removing this, removing that. I've I've not read them yet, but um, they don't look too bad. But um, hopefully, yeah, they'll come out really, really, really well. Uh, yeah, so one, so one ninety nine, fairly, fairly decent. I mean, Hung Hungry Joe's, uh, all of that stuff seems to be a little bit more expensive, but you do tend to get more food for your money. You know, you might get another fifty grams or something like that. The pizzas I've done have been, been bigger. And, you know the sort of ready meals and, and things like that. They're always a little bit bigger in size. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, cook, uh, I'm going to uh, cook this up, and when I pause, and I'll come back. And I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, welcome back. Uh, this is this uh, Hungry Joe's Southern Fried Chicken Stacker, all all, all cooked up, um, all done. And as you can see there side shot there as you can see what's sort of going on there uh, nice ses sort of sesame bun hasn't gone hard around the edges I did put it in the um, toaster for a little bit before I put it in the microwave and reduce the cooking time a little bit so the bun maybe didn't go soggy uh, let's lift the lid on it the mayonnaise there you got your cheese slice you get three of these chicken goujons you can see there and around this side here, you can just about see the sort of hash brown. I don't want to disturb it too much. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, one thing I'll say, when I was cooking the chicken goujons and the hash browns, still boiling hot on the bottom as well, uh, when I was cooking those up, um, you sort of have to flip, flip them over and things like that. They're really sort of flimsy. They're sort of breaking away. So I don't think they're going to be particularly very sort of crispy, you know. Especially the hash brown was really like breaking away when I was sort of trying to uh, um, take it off the plate and put it into the bun. But um, you know, if, if it um, tastes good, then that doesn't really matter. So it smells great, as I say. I'm going to pause you, and when I come back, I'll let you know if this is any good. All right, welcome back. As you can see there, I've just taken about half this sandwich out. It sort of consisted of about sort of three or four fairly large bites. And uh, first impressions. Uh, the chicken goujons are really tough. The um, chicken inside, you sort of bite into it, and it doesn't. You know, your teeth don't go through it. It's sort of a little bit pulley and a little bit tough, which I'm a little bit disappointed about, to be honest. Because um, you know, I thought that they'd be better than that. So that's a little bit disappointing there. Um, the bun has held up really well, even though it's a frozen product. Even now, it's still soft, really, really tasty. And the cheese was. 
cheese as it is. You know, it is what it is. Really decent. The mayo um, didn't shake, didn't taste like cheap mayonnaise. You know, I was considering using my own mayonnaise, but I decided to use one in the pack, and I'm happy I did. Um, the hash brown as well sort of was a little bit of a mess, um, but especially after sort of cooking it as well and sort of handling it. But saying all that, I mean, overall, it was still very, very tasty. Very good sandwich. Um, something different, something I haven't seen before. You know, the um, Rusters chicken sandwiches and things like that. You can get a little bit fed up of those. But this is quite something quite different. The chicken and the hash brown and, you know, the, the cheese as well on there. So it's, it's a little bit disappointing compared to sort of, the double stack Hungry Joe's bur um, beef burger I saw the other day. I was really had high hopes for it, but I say it's, it's still it still tastes good. Um, two pounds would I buy it again? Oh, I don't know. Uh, probably uh, maybe I don't know. It's really difficult to decide. I mean, one fifty yeah I probably would. Two uh, two pounds um, might have to really sort of be really, really sort of like craving something like this to get it again. Um, out out of five, um, I'd probably I still I still gonna say it's, it it tastes good. I'd still give that a four out of five, and just for the originality of it, really. I mean, Hungry Joe's, um, they they really do a lot of this sort of you know new style stuff. And you know, when you see it in the supermarket, it, it definitely does look good. Um, but if you like this sort of stuff, this sort of chicken and chicken sandwiches and things like that, I'd definitely give it a go. I don't know if Food Review GB is gonna try it. Um, but after seeing this review of the, 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 the uh, um, double stack beef burger, I probably will try that at some point and probably do a review of it. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that's my video review of the Hungry Joe's Southern Fried Chicken Stacker. And I've given that a 4 out of 5 star rating. And I'll see you later.